An American airstrike in Pakistan killed the leader that, of that country's Taliban, a terrorist blamed for the deaths of seven CIA workers in Afghanistan. Already the terror group is moving to fill the leadership vacuum left behind. Alfonso Van Marsh is in London with the latest. Alfonso, good morning. That's right. Good morning, Anthony and Vanita. A day after the Taliban's leader in Pakistan had been killed, as you mentioned, militants are already discussing possible replacements, reportedly including Khan Saeed, the number two leader of the Pakistani Taliban. Haki Mullah Massoud, the Taliban chief on America's most wanted terrorist list and with a $5 million bounty over his head, died in a drone attack in northwest Pakistan. Security officials say a U.S. drone targeted the leader of the Pakistani Taliban on Friday. He has been reported killed by drone strikes many times before. This time, American officials confirmed his death. Ahead of his burial, eyewitnesses said his body was damaged, but still recognizable. Haki Mullah Massoud was wanted in connection with a 2009 suicide bombing that killed seven Americans at a remote CIA outpost in Afghanistan. He appears in this militant video with the Jordanian suicide bomber who carried out the attack. He also claimed responsibility for the failed car bombing in New York's Times Square in May 2010. Haki Mullah Massoud took over the leadership of the Pakistani Taliban in 2009 after two previous leaders were also killed by drone strikes. He vowed as recently as last month to continue attacks on Americans. However, he died as he was reportedly meeting with other Taliban leaders about starting peace talks with Pakistan's government. Now, Massoud was believed to be in his mid-30s. Pakistan has condemned the strike as a violation of its territorial integrity. Anthony, Benito. Al Alfonso Van Marsh in London. Thanks.